Well, um, the brain thinks, but the heart knows. And um, we've done numerous studies uh, on brain function and numerous studies on heart function. And I think you can't have one without the other. We look to teach people how to create more modulation, more coherence in their brain. Why? Because when you're aroused by stress, when you're aroused by the, the states of survival, the alarm system in the body, our attention is always shifting from different people, different problems, different circumstances. And every one of those elements in our environment has a neurological network in the brain. So the arousal of the stress hormones causes us to try to control and predict everything in our life. And we shift our attention very quickly to all those different elements and the brain starts firing out of order. We've figured out, we've discovered a way to cause the brain to become more coherent, to, to function in a greater level mm -hmm. of synchronization. Mm -hmm. By the same means, when you're irritated, when you're impatient, when you're frustrated, when you're judgmental, when you're resentful, uh, your heart beats out of order. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and when that occurs, the, the incoherence that's creating in the, created in the heart, those waves mm -hmm. begin to interfere with each other. Mm -hmm. and, it actually diminishes energy in the heart. So you have a diminishing of energy in the brain yeah. and a diminishing of energy in the heart. And that's, what, chaos. <laughs> that's when you stop trusting yourself. Yeah. That's when you start believe, stop believing yourself. That's when you stop communicating. That's when you stop connecting uh, because there's no energy in the heart. So we saw this very strong connection, a synchronization between the heart and the brain. And something really, uh, last year and the year before, we discovered is that when people really can get relaxed in their heart, mm. and this is what we teach, mm. we teach people how to move out of survival, move out of stress, mm. work with their body, and get relaxed in their heart, put their attention on their heart, mm -hmm. and begin to feel with their heart again. It's kind of funny because we feel with every part of our body, most human beings except our hearts, mm -hmm. right? And that's because if you've been bruised, if you've been betrayed, if you've been injured in some way, uh, hurt in some way, it's very difficult to open the heart again. You've got to protect yourself, mm -hmm. right? So, so we teach people how to work with their bodies to get them out of, get them, get them out of those states of survival and get them into that place where they can actually start relaxing into their heart. And where you place your attention is where you place your energy. Yeah. So uh, we started seeing when people literally were in the state where they started relaxing, putting their attention in their heart, and they started cultivating heart-centered emotions, elevated emotions, that the heart started beating in rhythm, yeah. in beautiful order. Yeah. And if the person was able to sustain that state for just a 10 minute, 15 minute period of time, we started seeing this uh, very low frequency in the heart starting to build on our on our measurements. Now that very low frequency in the heart is the energy that the heart actually uses to function. If what you think and feel somehow changes the world around you and you keep reacting the same way to the same people, in the same places, doing the same things, then you're just repeating the same life over and over. This happens because you're stuck in what you already know. To change this cycle, we need to think and feel differently from our surroundings. Once people start doing this, they won't easily let others or difficult situations control them. This is because the more upset a problem makes you, the more you focus on it, giving away your energy to something that could be used for healing or making a new start. Teaching people to control themselves, live in the moment, and calm down from automatic reactions and feelings is the key. When you lower the intensity of these feelings and work on controlling them, you stop obsessing over the problems or people that upset you. This helps you get your power back, and it even boosts your personal energy, giving you the strength to heal and dream up a new future. Sadly, it often takes a hard hit, like a crisis, sickness, or loss, for people to think about changing their lives. It's a human thing reaching a point where no amount of texting, hanging out, or even buying stuff like cars or clothes can take away the hurt. When life gets tough, it feels like a wake-up call for your inner self. You might not recognize who you are anymore, and that's exactly when you can start to change. This is a time for deep thinking, where you can look back on your thoughts, actions, and feelings over the years, 
Scientists call this metacognition, which means thinking about your own thinking, breaking free from old habits. A good way to handle this is by focusing on what you want for your future, not just waiting for things around you to get better. You can improve your mood daily by thinking about your goals. This involves picturing your goals vividly in your mind and feeling the positive emotions as if you've already achieved them. By meditating, you can help your brain stay in this positive state, feeling as though your successful future is real right now. This approach moves you away from waiting for outside changes to make you happy and towards actively making yourself feel fulfilled. Imagine starting each day excited by what's ahead, firmly holding on to that vision and not letting anything distract you. That's a day well spent. However, many people stop chasing their dreams because realizing them means changing their habits, thoughts, and feelings. It's much simpler to stick to what you know. Change can be scary because it involves stepping into the unknown, which can feel uncomfortable. Some people would rather feel sorry for themselves than try something new, preferring to look back on their past rather than plan for their future. But it's so important to fall in love with your future dreams instead of hanging on to your past. Think about the times you made a real decision and felt a strong emotion. That mix of decision and emotion sticks in your memory. Doing this every day helps you move closer to the future you want, and your body starts to adapt to these changes. A common myth is that our thoughts and actions can't change because they're set in stone by our past. But in truth, you can shift your beliefs by keeping your mind on a new goal. Some people meditate several times a day to keep their focus on a better future. Another myth is that you need to wait for things around you to change before you can change. But real change starts from within. When you change on the inside, you'll start to see changes on the outside. You stop being a victim and become the person who shapes your own life. It's about taking charge and working on yourself to build the life you dream of. Imagine if everyone thought this way. The whole world's mindset would dramatically shift. Changing what you believe, especially about yourself, involves two steps. First, you have to decide firmly that you want to change. You need to feel more strongly about this than about staying in your usual habits and feelings. Remember the times you felt a strong emotion and decided to make a change? That moment became a turning point in your life. Deciding to change challenges everything, your habits, your surroundings, even your sense of time. Your body is like a detective, always guessing what you'll do next. If you're not really committed to changing, it won't prepare for anything new. For example, if you're lounging around, surrounded by comforts, and think, I'll change tomorrow, your body, which can predict your actions, won't believe you. It's looking for real proof that you're ready to make a change. Changing how you feel and think means having clear goals and feeling positive emotions strongly. You need to believe in your future more than in your past. And it's not something you do just once. It's about continuously creating a burst of positive vibes. When you start making these changes, you might notice lucky breaks or things just working out. That's when you realize something inside you is making a difference. Your energy shifts and so does your life. However, some people get the idea, but doubt it will work for them. This is the critical point. You have to be more than a spectator. You have to get into the game and prove it to yourself. Some people make a daily habit of this, aiming not just to heal, but to transform themselves fundamentally. It's common to fall back into old habits and feelings. The key is to catch yourself, switch up your mood, and get back on track. Some people work on this multiple times a day, knowing that their emotions can activate their genes. They use this insight to actively shape their future, like directing their own life's movie. Your mind plays a huge role in your life, and sometimes it operates on autopilot, leading you to react based on past experiences without even realizing it. Suddenly, you feel a certain way because of someone or something that reminds you of the past, 
and your body reacts as if it's happening all over again, influencing your actions and thoughts automatically. Changing this pattern means rising above your environment, your physical state, and even time itself. Your brain, especially the part that handles thought, the neocortex, holds all your memories and learning. It has different sections for all the people, things, and places in your life, each linked to specific emotions. When you find yourself in familiar situations, your brain automatically brings up old emotions, dragging you back into the past. To make a change, you need to rise above your surroundings and decide to think, act, and feel differently even when faced with the same old scenarios. This means making a conscious choice not to fall back into your usual patterns. For instance, if you're going to a place that usually makes you feel bad, practice in your mind beforehand how you want to think, act, and feel there. Remind yourself over and over until it feels natural, like you're gearing up for a big game in your head. If you want to change, keep reminding and practicing this new way of thinking and feeling until it sticks. And if you mess up, don't sweat it. You can always try again tomorrow. Decide firmly that nothing, no one, no place, no thing or situation will push you off course from how you've decided to feel. If you keep this up all day, be ready for some fun surprises. That's how you'll know your inner work is paying off. And that's when life gets exciting. Your mind has a special way to tap into your subconscious first thing in the morning and right before you go to sleep. During these times, your brain shifts in a way that connects your conscious and subconscious minds. The trick to changing your life lies in getting past the part of your brain that's all about logic and analysis. Believe it or not, only 5% of your mind operates on the conscious level, while a massive 95% is the subconscious, running on automatic. Trying to change just using the conscious part is like trying to fix the system from the outside. What you really need to do is slow your brain down to switch off the logic part and tap into the subconscious. This is where you can really shake things up and make a difference. And don't worry, learning how to do this isn't hard. Here's a simple tip. Instead of grabbing your phone first thing in the morning to check messages or social media, do something different to connect with your deeper self before jumping into the day's routine. Pause for a second and remind yourself that to change, you need to be bigger than your body, where you are, and the clock. Don't just start your day on autopilot. Instead, sit quietly, clear your head, and think about the best version of you for today. Pick out two thoughts, two memories, two actions, and two feelings you'd like to change. Keep them in mind all day. It's like you're training the wild part of you, choosing when to move instead of being pushed around by cravings or old routines. Imagine turning inward, leaving the outside world behind and focusing on now. Think about how the best version of you would think, act, and feel. Practice these changes in your mind like you're rehearsing for a play until you're good at it, even with your eyes wide open. You're in charge of your mind's movie, writing the script for a better, more purposeful day. Picture starting your day not by reaching for your phone and getting lost in notifications, but by taking a moment to create a positive vibe for the day. Instead of your phone dragging you out of bed, decide to stay there until you feel positive. Ask yourself, can I keep this good vibe going all day? If you fall back into automatic habits as the day goes on, don't beat yourself up. At night, think back on how you did. If you lost focus, no stress. Tomorrow is a new chance. It's all about practicing these mindful choices over and over to truly change. When you begin to notice things lining up in your favor and happy coincidences, it's no longer just a routine. It's about enjoying the wonderful things happening in your life. It turns from a must-do into an adventure because you're making good things happen. That's a big deal, and our group is all about celebrating this journey together. Picture this. Instead of your phone yanking you out of bed, 
you wake up pumped for the day, not just going through the motions. Changing those knee-jerk habits might seem tough, like trying to snowboard without anyone showing you how. But with a bit of time and effort, it can become not just doable but actually fun and rewarding. The cool part is discovering that change itself can be exciting and satisfying. In our group, we've seen folks reach a super happy state, proven by brain scans and checks on heart rhythms. It's not all about dodging discomfort or fear. It's about hitting a level of bliss, feeling tapped into something powerful inside you. When you reach that awesome place, you stop looking for happiness somewhere else because you find it's been inside you the whole time. We've figured out ways to calm your heart and wake up your mind, leading to an amazing sense of completeness. Stick with it, and you'll get the hang of it. Remember, each choice you consciously make helps sculpt your life. By tapping into your inner magic, you're not just switching up routines. You're building a life full of happiness, cool coincidences, and endless possibilities. Imagine waking up each day thrilled, knowing there's so much good stuff waiting for you. It's not about being perfect. It's about making progress and enjoying the wild ride of learning more about yourself. If you think this approach to living with awareness sounds awesome and you're all about making positive changes, consider following our channel. Join our crew of proactive folks focused on building a life they're crazy about. And let's not keep these good vibes to ourselves. Share this with the people you care about, those looking for a spark of motivation and change. Let's create a wave of good energy and transformation. Your journey is important, and so is theirs.